And I got to tell you something right now. In getting started, we're talking about these playoffs. The Los Angeles Lakers and a reigning defending NBA champion Denver Nuggets face off in round one out west this weekend. The meeting is a rematch of, of last year's Western Conference Finals where the Lakers got swept. Denver brought some broomsticks and took them out of the Crypto.com arena. I would know because I was there, okay? They were also swept four times, right, during the regular season. By the Nuggets. Actually, I think it was three times. By the way, let me give you those three times in just a second. Because despite the eight-game losing streak, LeBron James says, the quote, the media may be putting too much emphasis on the series. Can you believe this? Check. Look at this quote from LeBron James. Look at this, look, look at this quote from LeBron James. Quote, I think y'all putting a little bit too much emphasis on it. This is our first-round matchup. I mean... We're looking forward to the postseason, but I haven't been like looking forward to the rematch. I think you allow yourself to get away from the game plan when you make it too personal. I just stay even killed. Really? Really? You see, these are the issues that we have to have with LeBron James. Somebody going to say, no, somebody needs to say it, so I'm going to say it. Now, I know he's a four-time champion. I know he's a four-time league MVP. I know he's one of the greatest players in NBA history. I got him number two all-time on my Mount Rushmore. And damn it, if he got by Denver and ended up winning the chip this year, I'd have to literally acknowledge that it's a worthy debate as to who is the GOAT all-time greatest in the history of basketball because LeBron James is that phenomenal. But there are certain things that he does sometimes that just rakes my last damn nerve. And this is one of them. The same LeBron James that never wanted to compete in a slam dunk champion in a slam dunk contest, even though everybody from Doc, from David Thompson to Dr. J to, to Kobe Bryant to Vince Carter to Tracy McGrady. I mean, all the way through the years to the Aaron Gordons and Zach Levines of the world. Damn it. Even Nate Robinson and Spud Webb compete, competed in it. But not LeBron James. Oh, no, not him. Not him. He chose to use layup lines prior to games as his own slam dunk show, but never wanted to compete for the slam dunk contest. And I have where I have contended publicly. He single handedly ruined the slam dunk contest for all star weekend, because had he never had he ever competed, then other stars would have been compelled to compete. And our all star weekend wouldn't have been so drastically compromised over the years. But LeBron James didn't give a damn. Didn't give a damn. I'm going to go a step further. And why am I bringing this up? Because it's relatable to this kind of nonsense. We all know with greatness, it comes down to moments. We all know it comes down to competition. You remember when Kobe Bryant got his nose damaged or if not broken during All-Star Weekend going up against D-Wade. And then a week later, the Miami Heat with LeBron and D-Wade and those boys came to the then Staples Center. And what did Kobe do? Went right after D-Wade. Right after him. You know why? Because we were all talking about what transpired. And we were all talking about two great off guards who were destined for the Hall of Fame. And how we couldn't wait to see them going up against one another. Both of them acknowledged that the competition would be there for one another. Both of them acknowledged they were looking forward to it. And we embraced it. When has LeBron embraced that with anybody? When has LeBron embraced the nemesis? When has it happened? When? Even when we're talking about the finals with him and Steph Curry. Yeah, because Steph Curry is the greatest shooter God ever created. And you obviously are going up against a, a team in the Golden State Warriors with the Splash Brothers that were special. But you're LeBron James and you're, you're, you're built differently. But what did you do when Kevin Durant came there? And he averaged 35, but before he did all of that, his game won of the NBA Finals, and he's a Golden State, and he scores his basket, and he claps his head, spreads his arm. Let's go. It's me and you now. I got a crew now. I got a crew now. What's up? And what happened? They took him out. See, this is the, this is what I'm talking about. You get, it's about theater. It ain't just about your greatness. It ain't just about your exploits. It's about theater. And LeBron is great, and he is phenomenal, and he's a treat to watch. And I love seeing him in the playoffs. And it's better for all of us that he's going to participate in a playoff series because we get to see him more than just a regular season game, which is what we want. But in the end, he doesn't embrace the theater of it all the way you would like him to in key moments like this. Denver Nuggets have whipped their ass. They swept them last year in the conference uh, finals. 
They've beaten them eight straight. The Lakers haven't beaten them since December 16th of 2022. And you sitting there talking about we can't take it too personal. You don't take ass whippings personally because that's what you've been getting whenever you've gone against them. They beat you, they beat you open the night, ring ceremony. They got their new championship rings in front of your face, then whipped your ass. They unveiled the Kobe statue, Kobe Bryant statue. Before a game that night against Denver, they whipped your ass again. Then the night you dropped 40,000 points, they whipped your ass again. And we gonna sit up there and say, nah, nah. It, 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 it's just another game. It, it's another opponent. No, it ain't. They're the reigning defending champions coming to whip your ass again. What you gonna do about it? Now, I know you're gonna play. I know you're gonna be great. But I'm talking about that extra ferve that you embrace in order to eclipse expectations. I would like to see that for LeBron. And when it comes to a nemesis that's in his face, telling him they coming and they coming for him, he don't respond verbally. He don't contribute to headlines. He don't contribute to the theater of it all. And I don't like that, period. 